My name is Lior Kavia, I'm co-founder and CEO at Cibo. Cibo is an Internet of Things design and delivery SaaS platform. As you already know, the IoT market is big and is about to be huge. The numbers are quite unimaginable, 15 trillion dollars in revenues of IoT in two years, about 30 billion connected products, but IoT is not the end game. IoT is a mean to an end. Companies go IoT because it creates a tangible business value. Generally speaking, we divide the business drivers for IoT into six categories, from productivity and efficiency to data-driven product innovation. But creating IoT systems is complicated, expensive, and risky. Companies need many, many skill sets from electronic development and mechanical design and embedded software development to cloud servers, big data, security, app development, connectivity, and so much more. This is where we come into the picture. Cibo is an IoT design and delivery platform, which is comprised of four modules. The IoT modeler, the IoT simulator, the IoT execution hub, and the IoT behavior analytics. It's all around a central IoT model. Our clients are coming from different verticals. I would like to share a few examples with you. Multotech create machinery for the mining industry, and they make it smart using Cibo. Green Gauge with agricultural equipment, Oseco with pressure products, Valiant with machines for automotive assembly lines, and so on. We also have consumer product companies as our clients, like Procter & Gamble, Ralph Lauren, Decathlon, and others. We're about 55 team members. We have amazing investors, including TPY Capital, Viola Ventures, Pritzker Group, Autodesk and Global IoT Technology Ventures. We were chosen recently as a Gartner Cool Vendor. Gartner wrote, Cibo is cool because it enables a fast and easy way for organizations to develop IoT products. We are also proud to be at Mura Donor. With that background, I'd like to show you our product. And to do so, I'd like to take you into the life of a product development manager in a leading machine manufacturer. In this case, a packaging machine. Inside Cibo, you can see a machine model. You can open a library of IoT features and drag and drop those features onto the model. You can add the web dashboard. You can add the cloud server. You can invite team members to get work done together. And you finalize the modeling by creating and defining use cases. Typical use cases would be predictive maintenance or remote asset monitoring. When the model is ready, Cibo automatically generates for you the simulations. It automatically generates for you the specs. And it automatically generates for you the analytics to make it happen. If you're missing some of the skill sets within your team, for example, you do not have a data scientist as a machine uh, maker, it's not a problem. You can use our marketplace of vetted, trained partners to identify the right vendors and collaborate with them. And that means that every company can successfully deliver a new IoT system to market. Because of our unique position in the ecosystem, and since Cibo is a pioneer in IoT modeling and simulation, we identify many synergies with giants across the IoT ecosystem. And we divide those potential synergies or potential partners into four groups. IoT, data, and app enablement companies, service providers and contract manufacturers, CAD and PLM companies, telecom and infrastructure companies. For each of these categories, we have a unique value proposition. I'd like to share with you notable strategic alliances we created. Last month, we announced a partnership and integration with SolidWorks, part of the SOS systems. I had the privilege of presenting it to about 5,000 members of their ecosystem. This month, we are becoming a Microsoft co-sell partner. In early June, 
we will launch an integration and a partnership with SAP. It means that more and more companies today understand that going IoT could be easy, seamless, and successful when using Cebu. And I'd like to wrap up my presentation by quoting SoftBank CEO, who said that in the next 20 years, we will see one trillion Internet of Things devices. Cebu will capitalize on this, and Cebu will be in the center of this transition. Thank you very much.